Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing the pregnancy tag. Um, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to be looking to my side because that's where I have um, the questions um, written down. So um, I'm going to get started. It says, the first question is, is this your first pregnancy? Um, no, it isn't. It's my second. I have a two-year-old daughter. How did you find out you were pregnant? Um, I was about a couple days late for um, my period. And how this was a planned pregnancy, I took Clomid. So um, I was like, well, I'm going to take my a pregnancy test. And I um, took the test and the line came out really, really um, faint. So I was like, I'm just going to wait till the next day to do the um, first um, morning urine. So I did that the next day, and the line still came out faint. So I just um, called my doctor because I was also having um, pain in on my right side ovary. So I was like, I'm just going to call the doctor and um, make an appointment. And then they um, did blood work and they confirmed I was pregnant. Um, okay, so the next one is, how did you feel? Well, I felt really happy because it was a planned pregnancy. And even if it wasn't a planned pregnancy, um, I would have still been happy. But um, I felt really excited. Okay, how did you tell your partner? Um, he was in the shower when I took the pregnancy test. And the first pregnancy test, and I went into the bathroom. I'm like, well, I just took a test, and um, I am pregnant. He's like, how do you know you're pregnant? I'm like, well, the test. He's like, but he doesn't, like, really believe in those tests. He um, wants it to be confirmed by blood work and an ultrasound. So... Uh, he was kind of excited, but at the same time nervous because I was telling him I had pain. So um, that's how I told him. He was in the shower when I went in and told him, um, I think I'm pregnant. Um, okay, how, when are you due? I'm due June 25th. So I got about 10 more, 9 to 10 weeks more. What are you having? Um, I'm having a boy. Do you have a name picked out? Yes, I do. Um, as I mentioned in one of my vlogs, um, the baby's name is going to be Lucas Alessandro. How are you emotion? How are you emotionally for this pregnancy? Um, I'm feeling fine. I'm excited that my daughter's going to have. Um, a brother someone to play with but at the same time I'm not sad but it's like she's not gonna be the only child so that's my only concern that she's gonna feel jealous and I just hope I have um, the time you know to spend equally with both of them so they won't um, either one of them won't feel um, <laughs> Mia you're covering me um, jealous. Me, me, so I'm feeling. Me. Uh, hi, hi. Want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, now sit in your little chair so mommy can finish the video, okay? Can you sit in the chair? No. <laughs> okay, then sit right here on, on my side. Okay? Hi, mom. Okay, so other than that, um, Ooh. I'm feeling, um, fine emotionally. Um, okay, what is, no, no, don't move me. Um, what is your favorite part of the pregnancy? My favorite part is feeling the baby move. Um, I just love, and seeing my stomach move, it's just an amazing feeling, and I just enjoy that. <clears throat> um, okay, sorry for me moving too much, that my daughter's climbing on me, jumping off of me. Sorry about that. Um, okay, I lost the questions. Okay, um, what is, 
what is your least favorite part about pregnancy? My least favorite part is, well, in the beginning, it was the morning sickness while I had it until about six months. Um, and the headaches. Um, and right now, my least favorite part is the gestational diabetes because I'm on a strict diet. I have to be poking my finger. But if I didn't have the gestational diabetes, it would be the um, morning sickness. But um, that's my um, least favorite part about pregnancy. And it says, how do you feel about this pregnancy physically? Um, at the moment, I'm feeling really tired. I can't take naps because my daughter does not sleep during the day. So right now, I'm just feeling super tired. But um, other than that, I'm feeling great. How much weight have you gained um i've gained i think six pounds in 30 weeks so i'm really happy with the weight gain but i still have a couple more weeks to go and i know with my daughter the last couple of weeks is when i put on the most weight um so yeah i've only gained about six pounds what is your biggest craving um, anything sweet. Um, I was craving anything from fruit, candy, ice cream, just anything sweet, but I can't have anything sweet except, um, small, small portions of fruit, but that's about it I could have. So, um, I guess after I have the baby, I'm gonna eat some candy and ice cream and all the sweets I'm craving right now that I can't have right now. Um, okay, no, Mia, please. It says, no, baby, no, please. Uh, what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Um, right, at the moment, it's Burger King, but I also can't eat burgers or fries. Um, but before I had a gestational diabetes, it was still was Burger King. I would just, my husband be like, uh, okay, um, do you cook anything? I'm like, no, not tonight. He's like, well, where do you want me to stop? And I'll be like, oh, Burger King. He'd be like, really? Burger King? I'm like, yeah, I, I'm craving a Whopper with milkshake and fries. He'd be like, oh, okay. But yeah, that's my biggest fast food <laughs> craving right now is Burger King. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 um. What do you wish someone would have told you about pregnancy? Um, well, really, I would have liked to heard, um, about people getting gestational diabetes. It's new to me. I know it existed because with my daughter, I had the test, but I didn't really know you had to poke your finger if you came out positive, and you had to um, be on this super strict diet, take medications. So um, I would have just liked to know known more about about that um, gestational diabetes. Okay. Um, how is your partner handling this pregnancy? Um, He's handling it great. He's kind of stressed because um, ever since he found out I had the gestational diabetes, he's um, kind of stressed because sometimes I'm hungry and I have to eat. Like, if I get hungry, I can only have, like, cheese, um, something that doesn't have carbohydrates in it. And, um, and it's kind of hard, you know, if I already had a meal and then... I want to eat something, I get hungry, and I want to eat something else. It's like, okay, let's say if I made chicken, I could eat chicken again, but I don't want to eat that. Or I could have an egg, and that doesn't count, you know. But I just get over the food sometimes because I'm trying to stick to the same meals every day to keep my sugar low. But um, he, he kind of gets stressed because he sees me that I get hungry and... I'm just like, he could hear my stomach growling. He's like, you need to eat something. I'm like, I know, but I already ate and I'm on this diet. You know, I can't do anything about it. But other than that, he's handling it great. Um, he's been really helpful. 
especially when I had the morning sickness, he really understood and he would do the shopping and um, would help me a lot. When he was around, helped me a lot with my um, daughter. Okay. Um, do you have a birth plan? Um, yes, I do have a birth plan. I won't go over it in this video. Um, in a couple more weeks, I'll be um, doing a video on my birth plan. Okay, what is the scariest thing you have experienced? Um, well, when I first found out I was pregnant with the pain that I was having, they told me they thought that, that I had an ectopic pregnancy because every time they would do ultrasound, they couldn't see the baby. And um, that was the scariest feeling, just knowing that you're pregnant and they can't see the baby and they're telling you you have an ectopic pregnancy. That was the scariest part of um, this pregnancy so far. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened? Um, the most embarrassing thing that's happened is I tried walking into a grocery store when I was about three months pregnant. And when I walked in, I felt fine. But then... I walked by the meat section and I puked and I had it was just me and my daughter by myself and I just left the puke there and I went to go look for a worker and I'm like do you guys have a bathroom they're like yeah and he showed me where it was and I was like in the bathroom for about 20 minutes trying to like throw up because I was like I have to walk right by that meat wow. again to exit the store and I don't want to puke again my daughter was like starting to get really impatient and that was the most embarrassing thing some people just stared at me and they didn't even no one asked me are you okay do you need help so i just left the puke there and just ran out of the store after um i tried throwing up in the bathroom so that was the most embarrassing thing that has happened are you ready for the baby yes i am ready um if the, oh, I just, my, my mind just, um, pregnancy mind. <laughs> I just forgot about everything I was about to say. What was the question? Okay, and I was talking about the embarrassing, oh, are you ready for the baby? Yes, I am. I have, um, everything ready except the crib. So, um, I'm getting the crib tomorrow. But if the baby would come today, um, I have everything ready. Um, do you want more children? I would love more children, but I'm happy with uh, my girl and with my baby on the way. So I'm. I think I'm not gonna have any more kids. Uh, my plan has always been just two kids, and my husband's two. So. Um, I am not planning on having any more children. It says, last question is, will you do a postpartum tag? Um, I've never heard of a postpartum tag, but I might look one up and might do it if I have the time to do it after baby's hair. Um, I know after um, I have a baby, I'll be doing um, updates, you know, postpartum updates and baby updates. But um, I have never heard of a postpartum tag. So if I find one and I have the time to do it, I will do it. So um, I tag any of you out there that are pregnant and want to do this tag to do it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.